Welcome back, Agent. Here's an assignment that you'll find interesting. Intelligence, as usual, has been going over Random's videos and made a discovery. A YouTuber has been writing a comment reserved for a novel, not once, but twice. This YouTuber's name is Brooklyn Royale. We reported to the director about our discovery, and he's fully aware of this YouTuber. Your mission is to tell a story about Azaria Delrose. Azaria is a rapper turned minister, but before she became self-anointed in baby oil. She was once the boyfriend of Kanika Jenkins' brother, the brother of Zach TV, and a niece to Foxy Brown. I can tell without continuing to read the report that she smoked the wrong blunt to come up with those credentials. Random News isn't the only one who did a story about her. You'll have to visit the other creators to tell this story. Let this armchair minister know that just because she worships the Lord doesn't mean that you can backslide at the same time. Dismissed, and if you see something, write something. And then y'all go on y'all little platforms, little, yes, I said, little platforms, and you post my videos thinking that you got some tea. <laughs> thinking that you really got some tea. You got old stale coffee that's been sitting in the house for about 20 years. You ain't got no hot for the tea. Stop it, honey. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You got old root beer float. Stop it. <laughs> you got old Sprite. You ain't got no hot tea. You don't know nothing. You don't work for the police. Welcome to the lounge. In our lifetimes, we want to be noticed from both social media and in the real world. Some be capping, some be flexing, and even go as far as making up wild stories. But what happens when you go even further by claiming you're in a relationship with the brother of a deceased teen, which gotten a lot of attention to this day, or a relative of a hip hop artist? They own stuff, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Okay, stop that. Stop doing it. Freaking weirdos. <laughs> well, Azaria Delrose is one of those people. Azaria was once a rapper, made a few songs, until the death of Kanika Jenkins, made headlines and YouTubers. Goofy or normal makes their mark. The story starts off with Azaria creating a foundation of her plan to be on top, starting with her talking about a guy named Young Bando. We'll take a visit to Random News for a quick story about Young Bando. Random as usual caught on. Random explains. Oh, it's called Bitch and Rose, man. You feel me? Now, how are you going to call a bunch of people and meet you in Rosemont at the Crown Plaza when you ain't even at Rosemont at the Crown Plaza? Because if you look at this building, it only has six floors. Kanika's party was on the ninth floor. So what the fuck is this dude talking about? <laughs> I may have took some shrooms and ended up in Wisconsin instead of Chicago last month. For that's the Crown Plaza in Madison, Wisconsin, not Rosemont, Illinois. I guess our friend here must have ate some magical cheese over in Wisconsin. Azaria went off on Tiffany M. Draper, who debunked Azaria's story. Does this brat know that they're both in their 30s? My views come in, because I'm about to dig into this old ass bitch. I am about to dig into this old bitch. Bitch, old as shit. Says the lady who. Looking like a whole motherfucking trend. Azaria makes death threats, not realizing that Texas is an open carry state. But fear not. Azaria's not about that life. This is the body language of a woman who got dumped first. Next, Azaria tells a story about her trip to Atlanta. Before Kanika died, Azaria was put into a program where Kanika was sacrificed. Kanika was among the gang stalkers. Here at They, you'll be brainwashed, assaulted, and your organs taken away. Interesting. A mysterious organization watching Kanika until her death and decides to do an organ harvest. Two problems to this wild story. One, Kanika's organs were still intact, and two organs can't be frozen. Cryopreservation hasn't been perfected yet. Azaria was being targeted by they. They're making sure she doesn't know too much and wants her to do some dancing on Instagram. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna do what we tell you to. You're gonna get on your Instagram, okay? You're going to shake your butt. You're gonna have people thinking that you're crazy. Dang, 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 oh, huh, bah, 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 huh. 
Azaria did an interview with Rob and Chosen King. Unfortunately, that live was deleted. But Azaria tells the aftermath, and she wasn't happy from the looks of it. You use me for your views. See, and that's why I said I felt like it was Mother Teresa that texted my phone. She said, do not do an interview with Rob. Whoever sent that text said, do not do an interview with Rob. So she doesn't know who sent her this so-called text, but decided to drop Kanika's mom's name for the fuck of it. <laughs> and then they text me again and said, Rob talking shit about you on live. Nigga, you was just on my net sack. Looking like a whole motherfucking tranny. You know what? I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> First of all, you were never, you was another dick riding ass nigga. You don't even know what the fuck you speaking on. You talking about some Kanika as Anisha Fowler. Nigga, you sound fucking stupid. And I went along with your dumb ass. Later that day, Azaria had a breakdown. It was going so long that her parents wanted to know what's going on. How to become a goofy. Well, you gotta let everyone who will go along with whatever schemes you want to do. Azaria didn't read the Goofy manual properly. When what brother dead? <laughs> he just said, what brother's dead? Shouldn't he know, seeing how they're family? After all, didn't she say? And anybody that know, they know that was close with Zach. Clearly the people that gave birth to her didn't, because they have no idea who Zach is. <laughs> After that backlash, Azaria disappeared from the Kanika Jenkins community, deleting her work in the process. Azaria resurfaced again, but instead of claiming to be the boyfriend of Kanika's brother, she becomes Azaria Marie, the niece of well-known rapper, Foxy Brown. First, she make her debut on the Chaka LaBelle show, and within a few months, her new platform is growing rapidly. Azaria decided to reach out to a gossip YouTuber named Tasha K, but Tasha didn't get the wine she wanted and got disconnected. What happened to the phone call? But this disconnection got Azaria big mad, and the mistake Tasha K made causes Azaria's platform to grow even further, getting attention to big YouTubers Hotshot Radio and Sean Davyway. It wasn't long before the public realizes that this is the same Azaria who talked about the so-called Kanika experience. When the two YouTubers realizes that they did an interview of a clout chaser with no evidence of Azaria being related to Foxy Brown, they weren't happy. It was exactly how you're connected to Foxy. Otherwise, you know what I mean? All that other bullshit is irrelevant at this point. You just fucking taking everybody for a ride and we're going round and round in circles and we don't fuck your feelings at this point. Whoever this lady is, I love the accent. Comment below if you guys know what accent originates from. Every six months come out a new damn person and a new fucking name. Wait till scandals and shit break until people die. And then all of a sudden, here the fuck your line ass come. Here the fuck you come. With a new I knew her or I knew him. Weird. So this line ass bitch doesn't have any else to do on a motherfucking Sunday. So she decides, damn, to be a fraud ass hoe. Now you can go into Brooklyn Milan um, Instagram right now, and she has up these fake ass receipts that she knew King Von. She did not fucking know him. And I'm sick of this bitch. You didn't fucking know him, hoe. You didn't know him just like you don't know fucking Foxy. Just like you didn't know Kanika or her motherfucking brother, you stupid bitch. I'm sick of you. Running around this motherfucker, running amok because of this bald headed bitch named Tasha. Now I'm starting to think that you're the next protege bitch, that you're the next mentee. Because you're going around in here doing a lot of motherfucking lying, who? A lot of motherfucking lying, baby. This second backlash causes Azaria to disappear again until Tiffany M. Draper discovered her as Brooklyn Royale. Her new platform is religion. One cannot take a woman who isn't wearing a bra while preaching scripture seriously. Story time is how the Lord uh, saved me from myself. <laughs> and say, um, can you save your titties from sagging by getting a bra? But she again gained a lot of followers. It wasn't long before Azaria returned to Random's radar after she wrote an essay on how she wasn't happy with Random making a video about her. A shout out to Random News for entering the world of TikTok, a place where brain cells come to die. He recently did a story about Azaria's foolery and doesn't know that Tiffany passed away. After Random did a story about Azaria, she again wrote a book report, this time writing scripture. She's actually projecting herself in that comment. 
Oh, and Azaria, if you're thinking about writing a diary on my comment section, don't. If I wanted to fall asleep in the middle of creating this video, I'll do it off camera. Oh, Ninji, who else seen this? There's no way, bro. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Ma, you. You. <laughs> you fell asleep alive. I know. From a rapper, the boyfriend of Kanika Jenkins' brother, the cousin of Foxy Brown, to an armchair minister. Despite her fantasies, Azaria, believe it or not, hasn't scammed for money, just attention. She's practically harmless and just needs professional help. This concludes the story about Azaria, a woman with a wild imagination and thinks that by hiding behind a Bible and quoting scripture is the path of self-righteous. That's something a Pharisee would do. This is Storyteller signing off. Until next time. Good work, Agent. It's always the cute ones that are crazy. Here's hoping she sticks to her Bible and stop pretending to be someone else. Return to base and enjoy your time off, Agent. Thank you for visiting Shadow Storyteller. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button and bell for notification for future content. Until next time.